hello viewers welcome to another new video in this video i am going to present hospital management new module release so i already opened project using visual studio and as you can see i just run the project so project is running and uh, here we can see the uh, browser already open with port number 5009 so uh, it is loading once uh, uh, application ready so our uh, login page is ready for login so as it is demo version so we have added option by copy button you can copy username and password so already username and password copy and if i press the login then uh, hopefully i can successfully log into the system so it will redirect to the dashboard so just for let you know this is the complete uh, hospital management system with using sp.mbc with dotnet sdk 8.0 code fast project and this project is supported multiple database sql server mysql and postgresql so based on your uh, company you can choose any one database and also uh, this application is uh, using entity framework core and uh, front end part we write uh, uh, we load it uh, like grid view using jquery data table so in this uh, video i'm basically uh, presenting i will present a lab module so i recently updated uh, and added 11 plus lab reports so which is very important for this application previously it was missing so lab report was just uh, was simple uh, most of the cases that was that was not uh, more efficiently and more user friendly that's why based on the user feedback i added lab module with dynamic reporting part so here is the lab module so you can add the reference data now in this latest release so i already added 11 plus report reference data so as we can see 49 reference data already added so we can oh, let me just stop the debugging option so uh, in the reference data you can add uh, the parameter and max mean value also the unit so if i going to add sample let's say lab report name cbc and parameter name is uh, let's say test and unit tbl uh, 50 and 20 i'm just going to add as a test purpose data save so lab report name created successfully id is 51 so uh, lab reference data has been created successfully uh, and if i go to the lab test name so currently we have added 11 lab tests so blood sugar fasting pp bt and ct viral maker and complete blood sugar count you can check other uh, others uh, name as well now also if required you can add more a uh, name with the price here and also the clinical notes so if we open the cbc so we added a, a sample clinical note if required based on your uh, say organization administrator so you can update accordingly so the main part is add the lab test so after the lab test with some machineries from the uh, laboratory so there will be some result and that result will be add in this screen so there will be some lab technician and some other uh, application user they will add and perform this uh, operation using that uh, uh, based on the reference data from the laboratory and the, some user will add here and then you can perform the report that report will be very important so, because uh, that report has to be uh, a must have to be print for the user so user will get that report with a, a lab uh, lab technician and, and also the a doctor signature into the footer part so uh, I'm going to create a sample uh, uh, one report. Let's say uh, you will get the uh, entire application patient list with the visit ID. So one patient, one patient can visit it multiple times. So you can uh, pick the last visit ID. Also, the if it is related the test with the initial visit ID, then you can select accordingly. Uh, let's say Mr. Thompson and the lab report name is CBC and report date is the default today and going notes is tbd so here is the 
reference data so i already added two reference uh, test and test uh, is showing here so if i added some uh, result so dummy result five five two 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 one one zero 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 five five two 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 one five five one so i just added this dummy data as a test purpose i can save so i just created a, a, a a CBC report for patient Thompson and you can edit this report if some uh, by mistake and you added some wrong data so here is the option you can edit this report let's say it will be not 5 it will be 10 so update so report has been updated successfully now the major and most important part of this release uh, like a reporting part so if uh, if you click this uh, report button then you can able to get this uh user get this patient uh, test data for the uh, printing purpose so here is the report format so first is header so uh, a system will pick the uh, company information and uh, display here also the dynamically added the company logo so it will uh, always display the which logo you already added into the settings from company info and the, this is the default lab logo and uh, here is the patient information is speaking so uh, in this uh, report so basically we are uh, polling like company info table patient info table and this is the lab test result with the reference data table four four tables we are joining with link query and finally sending the data and with proper process and displaying here so here is the data and also the clinical notes and lab in charge signature doctor signature so here is the report button if if i click the report button then uh, it will display the complete report format with a4 size you can report you can print this report from uh, using your using your printer so also the photo part print date created date and created by so complete report part so now you can create any report with reference data based on your lab technician on based on what you have uh, into your lab and what uh, uh, patient is tested into your organization then based on that you can create dynamically re lab report using our application and also you can you can print this nice print format anyways i'm um, going back to the second uh, dummy data report so i'm selecting one like uh, mr harris and lab report name let's say liver function uh, i'm going to add some dummy data one two three three four four five five six six and three three and save so after save uh, it will be save into the system into you can check the lab you can check this report in the lab test result and if required you can add uh, sorry edit uh, this uh, lab report and finally you can print so these are the uh, units you can uh, configure this unit from the reference data uh, just go to here and based on that uh, let's say cbc you can search by cbc and cbc rela related all reference data will display here and you can pick one and also uh, let's say uh, currently we have 11 reports so let's say we have additional uh, like uh, clinical reports i don't know which one is coming into your organization then you can add that report and also the reference data with the proper uh, uh, subject matter expert so these are the things you can do and uh, if you uh, like this application then you can get entire application with additional features like complete uh, hospital management system operation uh, create patient patient appointment and checkup which is uh, complete prescription doctor info patient uh, prescription patient can log in and check the prescription later so this application have uh, 
the patient access option as well so outpatient expense so here is the invoice system for outpatient and the inpatient for in uh, here is the inpatient uh, inpatient uh, uh, invoice system mm, you can create uh, patient payment here so basically in this uh, in this uh, video uh, my main purpose is present to the new module which is uh, lab module so uh, let me just summarize you can create the relevant reference data for the lab test and you can create the lab test name let's say cbc and if uh, let's say one patient come to uh, your organization and they will test the uh, cbc test and once the lab technician get that result from that uh, machine uh, then that lab technician will input that data into the system using uh, uh, the lab test result UI so then you can print that result so there's these are the summary and these are the complete flow of this of this uh, module so thank you <coughs> I'm just uh, closing this video so and uh, if I sign out then it will redirect to the login page and uh, before closing this video let me just give you the project overview here is the complete project using visual studio using uh, .NET SDK 8.0 and I just open this project using visual studio we can run this project uh, on VS code as well so most of the case um, it is convenient to use visual studio and uh, visual studio 2020 our latest version so if you interest and like this application then just go to the code canyon and get the entire uh, applications uh, details uh, and uh, after purchase you will get uh, the complete list of uh, items which is like uh, entire project latest source code and also <coughs> uh, let me just give you what you are going to get if you are interested to get, get this application so complete project source code complete database uh, code first uh, <coughs> so no need uh, do not require the database script the table schema and store procedure other things uh, uh, this is code first project if you just uh, successfully update your uh, connection string into app setting.json file then the first time it will create the database uh, and then database table and the dummy data uh then you can log in using the default uh, uh, admin username and password and uh, complete project documentation erd diagram architecture diagram so video tutorials and free text support just click link uh, click here oh, sorry cancel if you just uh, let's say purchase now click here then it will redirect to the code canyon then using code canyon you can get entire application uh, latest complete source code so i will share the details in the video description like uh, i already hosted this application into the live server you can check into the live demo i will share this live demo into the video description also the purchase links so thank you for watching so see you in the next video